friends welcome to my video in this video we'll see how to use youtube iframe apis javascript based apis to play youtube videos embedded in your android app so let's begin we'll create a new project next you can name this app anything youtube iframe api and then click finish wait for the environment to load it may take a while once the environment loads, sir, uh, I'll do one thing. I'll first start my emulator as well in parallel on the right hand side. Okay, I'll just minimize this. And first and foremost, what I'll do is in my manifest file, I'll define the permissions required, which is basically the permission to use internet. Yeah, because uh, we'll be accessing the YouTube APIs. Uh, I mean, YouTube APIs will be calling it over internet, so that's why we require this access. Just any entry in manifest file is sufficient. And in Java code, what I'll do is I'll create a public method, uh, which is basically public void button. This is for button on click uh, method. So button uh, uh, YouTube video, or I will say play YouTube video. I'll just put play also play YouTube video. Yeah. So you can again name this. Uh, Matter anything, but we'll be using it as a on click attribute of the uh, buttons which we are going to use in our uh, layout. Yeah, perfect. So, over here in the layout, they have given by default the text which I don't think I need it. I'll just remove and I'll need a button so to trigger the YouTube video. And I can name this button, say, for example, play YouTube video. And I will give the required constraints and I'll just bring it to the center. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And apart from this, I'll need a web view in which we'll be calling our JavaScript. Okay. So, perfect. Over here. Uh, okay. Before that, what I'll do is probably I'll do something like this. I'll show you. So, by default, by default, uh, the width and the height is something as you first let me give the constraint so that it sticks to some place and in the layout width and height I'll change it to wrap content because the height and width I want to control it from the JavaScript side and not in the uh, layout over here I can give any ID over here just for accessing it over, over that side okay now before I proceed uh, to my Java code I like to show something that I'll be using the uh, example from this uh, uh, iframe API, whatever they have given from this. So what you can do is you can just search for YouTube iframe API in your uh, search engine in Google or whatever. Uh, go. And over here, the first link, if you click, it will open this page and it gives the complete details. So uh, of course, you can read it uh, whenever you get time. However, I just want to show that I'll be using this sample example over here. So if I quickly read what is this sample example, so it says, the sample HTML page creates an embedded player that will load a video and play it for six seconds. So we can modify all these attributes, but uh, okay. So just quickly, I like to show. So this is the function where it will load the video of height 390 by 640. This is the video ID. This is Google's own video, uh, sample video, and this is a place where it controls the time frame for which it should play, which is basically 6000 milliseconds, six milliseconds. So we'll be using this. So just just copy this. And then come back to your Java file and over here what I'll do is okay let me first click create a class variable no not here sorry yeah here not protected a string a string Java script yeah and now you can just Paste it, whatever you copied in your clipboard, control V. It will automatically take care of Android Studio is pretty smart to take care of all these uh, lines and all. Yeah. So once this is done, then okay. So what I'll do is I will probably uh yeah, this height and width looks a bit more. So what I'll do is I'll just reduce it to half, probably I'll modify it. So instead of 640, I'll do it 320, and instead of 390, I'll do it half of 390 is 195. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And also, uh, what else can I do is, the, instead of 6,000 milliseconds, probably I'll change it to 10,000 milliseconds, which is basically 10 seconds. So you can modify, you can leave it as it is also, it doesn't matter. 
okay so now what i'll do is i will start creating my other variables which is basically the web view so let me first create another class variable which is web view no web view and in the on create uh, method i can assign it to the right widget which is find view by id r dot id dot web view yeah perfect okay so once this is done what i'll do is in the this particular method uh, okay so this method i should have associated it with the button on click which i think i missed off so if i go back here and in the on click attribute i have to set it over here like this yeah so if i come back now the uh, yeah color of this method changes yeah okay so over here what i'll do is i will uh, use this web view to load that data so but before that i'll do one thing i'll first enable here to get settings and set javascript enable true make it true because we'll be calling the javascript in this so yeah and then in this uh, button on click we can e either use load uh, data with uh, load data or load data with base url both will be working fine so i'll use probably say for example load data this is simpler so first is that string data which we already have in our string javascript and it is asking for mime type so what is that that is basically the type of the data what we are given so that is text slash html yeah perfect and then last is encoding encoding i think you can't leave it null you have to give it so you can give what utf slash eight yeah this should be fine i guess okay so i think more or less i think code is done i'm rerunning this code in the app so i'll now bring my emulator make it bigger in the meantime i'll just do some kind of code cleanup okay so right hand side it came so if i click on this let me see what it happens okay something is coming up yeah so if you see my video has come up and uh, yeah if i click on on this so it's playing that video and most likely it should play for 10 seconds and then it should stop is what my case is perfect so if you notice after 10 seconds it is stopped okay so this was the sample uh, video uh, given by uh, uh, google so how you can identify is if you go back to this javascript over here this video id is the one which is getting played so you can also play your own video so how it works is you, uh, if you want to play this video in your browser to understand what is the id what you do is you have to just copy this youtube.com slash v equal to this is the id you have to put over here so i'll show you by going to the browser so i copied this and then this uh, into a browser and i have yeah perfect i made this url so what i've done is basically youtube.com slash watch question mark v equal to and this is the id i have pasted from there so if i play this so this is the same video what we are playing in our uh, android app so of course till 10 seconds you can see it is six seven eight hey nine, everybody uh welcome to everybody 10. uh welcome yeah and that's the point where my, our video stops in our browser as well see if i can rerun it and see what happens yeah so after 10 seconds it stops because of this particular parameter over here right now none of these buttons will be working like full screen and all because that you have to implement uh, separately in your web view because right now we are restricting it over here right so okay so that's all i wanted to show how easy it is you have to just use this uh, any example javascript uh, code come to your android code make it as a string variable and then in your web view you can call it using load data that's it so i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye